we don't have any jobs so we need to upload the jobs now to be able to upload jobs actually we need an agent as remember right now you are a user okay so I'm logged in as a user but we don't have any anyone or we also don't have an admin panel to upload the jobs so what we could do right now actually we can go ahead and create another user first okay now to be able to do that first we need to log out from our device okay and then we can come to profile section and then here we can register a new user and I'm gonna call it Ahmed and then Ahmed at gmail.com and here one two three four five six seven eight all right I'm going to log in fine but actually this time I'm going to log in as uh, logging just now using Dylan the earlier one because that's the first user first user I want to use as an user and the second user would be our uh, the one that would be able to upload jobs so let's come to our front end all right okay now to be able to upload job we need to come to our postman and then actually over here we need to import a collection so let's go ahead and do that and this is the collection given over here let's import this one it should be here okay right now here we need to create jobs so this is the endpoint that would create a job but now actually from here we need to assign a user so we need to use a uh, user's credential uh, that user the one that we have used early so it should be let me go ahead and check here we might have this one say ahmed at gmail.com and then we are here one two three four five six seven eight okay and then we need to put our ip address now the ip address is this one so let's go ahead and copy this now let's come over here and let's put it and then we need to have api login so now here we are passing this credential to log in our app so we're gonna log into this app using postman and then we're gonna return a token and that token we it's very important okay so this is the token all right and uh, well we can change this now let's go to our dashboard um, so let me see my app actually so I think I'm going to use this one anyway browse collections all right and now let's check at the user now this is the second user Dylan I'm going to use this one as an agent so here I want to edit this okay so I want to click on this and here we're gonna say agent true so that would be our agent and we're gonna update it over here so now it became a uh, he became this guy became an agent now after that let's log in again earlier we see this was false now it would return well it should have uh, I think I've, I've changed it in the wrong place so uh, let me go back to the database over here I think this was false so keep as it is false because I think Think I want to use the second uh, let me see what I'm a little uh, lost over here sorry so let me see who I am logging as so over here I'm logging as Dylan right 
so the other user this user we want to make him as an agent so let me go ahead and set it to true and let's update it all right cool uh were we able to change it yes we are able to change it okay so now what are you going to do over here uh let's uh come to our postman now let's check this now here we do see that it changed it true now we need his uh token now this token we want to use as his um, authentication token so for this reason we need to come over here and here we'll see the body and inside body uh, well everything is fine but here this header this bearer token so we're gonna pass a token otherwise it's just not going to work so the token that we have copied we'll put it here now inside body we need to make another change here you see that we have an agent ID okay so we need to change this one this one sorry this one should be this guy's ID okay so uh, this is actually coming from directly from database Ahmed and his ID let me go ahead and check uh, so this is Ahmed and his ID ends with 420 right so 420 but now when we come over here and say this this was hard-coded in our collection this old data and it's hard-coded just we put it there but you can change it so now let's go ahead and post this uh, looks like we also need our uh, backend endpoint all right and here we're gonna just simply say jobs and hit it all right and uh, let's see what's going on did we get anything uh, looks like not yet so let's try it one more time it's in invalid protocol okay right here I had a typo now let's try this okay right so right now we see their job has been posted okay all right now what we could do we could come over here and then most probably we could also come to our home page and we already see there are jobs posted now if you go to the database and let's see we will see some information now here we'll see jobs okay these are the jobs and the jobs been posted and agent is 421 and this is the job id and then this is the agent id so now by this time we're able to successfully actually um uh, load uh, post and load job data okay all right cool Right, so next we'll see how to apply for this job and start chatting.